I am on my way to Hobby Lobby. I was in Hobby Lobby just yesterday and I saw this fabric in there that I really liked and I didn't get it. I slept on it thinking about it and then this morning I woke up and I was like yeah I'm going to get that fabric. It's just really nice so I will be sure to share the fabric with you once I get to the store. In the meanwhile, I've been working on this skirt that I've had draped on my mini dress form. It's been on there for like weeks, but I finally bought some fabric and I finally got started on it. So I'm really excited and I'll show you the steps that I'm taking to get this skirt put together. First, I wanted to determine how wide this piece should be. So this is what it looks like when it's not tied up. I took a scrap piece of black knit, it was much longer than this, and I pinned it to the side of the dress form and I draped it over here to the other side and then I cut it at an angle so that it would resemble the look of this piece here. And I made it kind of point over here on the side so that it could tie together. And then I took this draped piece that was just on the dress form and I draped it across my body and then I decided that I wanted it a little bit wider and I wanted the point to go down a little bit longer. So then I took a ruler and I just widened the triangle opening and I lengthened the piece and then this is my new pattern piece. So now I'm going to cut this out. These pieces are knit scraps and I was short on my scraps so I just ended up serging two pieces together and once I cut this out I'm going to use this as my pattern piece on my real fashion fabric. I have the piece placed on top of the jersey knit fabric that I'm going to use for the skirt and I will just cut this piece out two times and then I will attach it to the skirt and for the skirt I'm going to use McCall's 7991. This is a dress pattern but I'm just going to use the skirt portion of the pattern for this garment. Okay so I have the skirt draped on the dress form and the only thing I do not like is that this side piece is a little bit long so I think I'm going to take it off and just shorten this a little bit and that should also shorten it in the front. So I did shorten the ties and for this pattern the front and the back piece of the skirt are actually the same identical piece. You just cut the one piece out and then you fold the pattern over to get the back piece of the skirt. So this is the front and this is the back. I pinned the tie with the wrong side of the tie to the right side of the skirt and I just pinned it along the side edge and I did come down about an inch and a half because I want to put a casing up here so this will be folded in a little bit and I wanted to make sure the tie wasn't going to be up into the casing area so I did move it down a little bit and then I did the exact same thing on the back piece just pinned it down next I will be basting this tie to the skirt on both pieces and then after that I can take the front piece and place it on top of the back sew down the side seams do the casing for the elastic and then hem the skirt here are some of the fall fabrics but here's the one that I came to get it's like corduroy on one side and then Sherpa on the other and I think that this would make a really nice jacket but this is just to show you some of the other fall fabrics that they have in stock. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. So the reason I was hesitant to buy this fabric yesterday is because it was $19.99. And I knew if I wanted to make a jacket, I would need a couple yards. So I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to spend over $40 on some fabric. So that's why I had to think about it, but I could not get the fabric out of my mind. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to bite the bullet. How about the lady was writing out my ticket and it came up to $11.99 a yard and I was like I asked her I wanted to be sure because I didn't see any signs saying that the fall fabric was on sale so I just wanted to check so I said it's on sale she was like yes I was like oh my goodness <laughs> That is right on time. So instead of paying $20 or $19.99 a yard, I got it for $11.99 a yard. Yes. <laughs> 